Hey, I'm Julia Mijas, and this is my consultant, Luna, and we're here to tell you what the hell is up with the sky for April. Luna and I love making horoscopes for beautiful people like you, so subscribe and you won't be caught off guard by anything cosmic. We have one of the biggest astrological transits happening this year coming up in April. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, luck, and growth is going to be conjoined Neptune, the planet of the ethereal. This major cycle happens about once every 13 years, and it's taking place in Pisces this month, especially between the 9th and 13th. Pisces is a sign of creativity, spirituality, and idealism. Traditional astrologers say Jupiter rules Pisces, while modern ones say that Neptune does. Whether you're into traditional or modern astrology, we can all agree that this is going to be a really strong influence. Jupiter likes to make things bigger, and Neptune can deeply disdain the mundane. So this April, we all might get swept up in some idealistic stupor. There's some serious Pollyanna vibes going on out there, so make sure that you're grounded before making any big decisions like investing money, because it's so easy to be deluded now. Pisces is a sign that likes to get altered and Neptune rules substances, so everyone's going to be partying way more than usual. So make sure your phone is charged so that you can call an Uber home. And if you're trying to slow your rolls this month, you might find instead that it's all gas and no brakes. We have a super social and fun conjunction between Venus and Jupiter during the last week of April. Venus is the planet of love and beauty, and both Venus and Jupiter love being in Pisces. This is a very special combo that happens once every three years and three months, and to have it happen so strongly in Pisces is even more rare. Venus and Jupiter are all about letting the good times roll, so it's a great time to get out, see friends, go shopping, or chase a few Tinder dates. It's like the cosmos is writing you a prescription for fun right now, so be good and take your medicine. And we could also, we all really could use some fun right now because the U.S. is right in the middle of our Pluto return. Ah! <laughs> It's official! Eclipse season has begun, and I'm totally fascinated by this North Node eclipse happening in Taurus on the 30th. Eclipses are cosmic wild cards in astrology because they can bring sudden events and unexpected news, and they can also mess up with our timetables. Like things that we thought would happen so far in the distant future start demanding our attention now. So it's not a good idea to start new projects during an eclipse, and I'd even wait about a week before and after one before launching anything new. In the sign of Taurus, this eclipse might signal changes to your money, your sense of security, and even your relationships, because Taurus is a sign of Venus, and that's the planet of love and beauty. This eclipse is the strongest we've had in a few years, because almost everyone in the sky is going to be in a sign that they like being in. Something new is coming your way around then, because the North Node is so close by, though the end of April is going to be a much better time for contemplation instead of action, and I'll tell you where this eclipse is happening in your chart in just a bit. Hey Capricorn, so you've got lots of dreamy magical mojo happening in your third house of siblings, neighbors, and your local community. You could find some pleasure and luck this month, as well as potential delusion in all things third house. If you've got any brothers, sisters, or cousins, then you guys could be getting along like a 90s sitcom. This is also a great time to get along with the people who live down the hall or right next door to you, because this house rules your neighbors. And if you're working on a writing project, then this is going to be an excellent month to get a lot of Really great work done. Nebulous Neptune is also in the mix, so there's a chance you're deluding yourself into thinking that you're writing the next great American novel, but people probably won't pay to read your feelings. This house also rules trips, so if you've got a holiday, a little holiday trip, or you live your life as a weekend warrior, then this could be a sweet time to get a change of scenery in. So that supercharged eclipse I mentioned earlier is lighting up your fifth house of fun, creativity, children, and dating. There may be some sudden changes to a creative project you're working on, or these might be changes up that pop up in your dating life. If you're actively dating now, someone might pop into your life while somebody else pops out of it. And if you've got kids, then they could throw you a curveball too. There's a big cosmic spotlight on what you do for fun this month, so you might find new ways to have fun and be a lot more creative. Creative. Thanks for watching! Luna and I are so impressed that you made it to the end. Subscribe to our channel so that you can be in touch with us. See you later, alligator!